All right, this thing is recording. Good. Hi. I'm sorry I'm out today, but that's okay. You have everything you need in these two YouTube videos that you can use to make your first photo collage. Um, I've got five pictures, but I asked you guys to take four pictures. Notice we're starting in Google Drive. So once you get to Google Drive, um, I'm hoping this is getting kind of familiar to you. You should be right clicking on things to download them. Um, this is going to be my whole scene, right? So I, I took like a picture of the whole scene, but then I went in and chopped it up, chopped it up. And I've got one already ready to go. I'll show you what that looks like here. So you'd see, I took four individual pictures and made it look like that one picture. Kind of thing. You don't need that one of the whole scene, but you see these four. Um, and again, remember, let me hide this that we're starting in drive. If you don't know where your files are, likely it is in your recent folder. So if you go to recent, you'll be able to find it. Once you have your pictures, I'm gonna right click and choose download. Do that individually. Right click, choose download. Yep. Notice that these things down here are piling up. So I've got four pictures I can open in Photoshop. Now I have four pictures I can open in Photoshop. Um, from here, I'm just going to open them up in a row. So 39 first. Okay. Notice now I have two tabs open. I can switch between in Photoshop. Go to Photoshop. I'm sorry, go back to Chrome. I'll open up 41. Go back to Chrome. Open up 42. Bring my cursor down here. Open up Chrome. And open up 43. Awesome. So this is, we now have all four pictures that we're going to use in Photoshop. Very, very good guys. Thank you. Um, now what we're going to do is I need to take three of these pictures, cut and paste them into the last picture. Okay. So this last tab, I'm going to use this as like the master tab. Okay. I'm going to go to the tab next to it. And we're going to cut and paste. And the easiest way of doing that is control A on your keyboard that selects the whole layer. Control X on the keyboard. Then go to that last tab, hit control V to paste. Nice. Notice in your layers, you have layer one and a background. While you're here, please unlock, unlock layer one. Nice. Okay. I've got two more layers to add to this document. I'm going to go to my third tab over control a to select all control X to cut. Go to the last tab, control V to paste. And repeat with the last picture, control A to select all, control X to cut over your last tab, control V to paste. I mean, we didn't see it paste, but it's here. Okay. Now, very important. Um, this is where you might run into some problems. So if you haven't run any problems, you can go ahead and move on probably to the next video soon. Um, but let me go back here and kind of talk about what some people, if they have problems, a lot of times what will happen is they won't have a layer selected. This will be deselected. Sometimes too, you will, um, people make a mistake and they'll grab this marching ant marquee tool, select something. So if you have this really small area, you have to click away from it, click, then do control a, then cut and paste. Okay. Um, it is now time for you all to take a break before you take a break though, you are going to save this document. So we're going to the file menu, choose save as you, you could actually just do save. It'll be the same window. And because we're working with layers, we're going to keep this as a Photoshop document, Photoshop, Photoshop. And this is called joiner, joiner, click save, click. Okay. 
So now if our computer crashes, we can get back to this. Again, the end of this video means that you have all four of your pictures in one document. And the next video is going to show you how to give yourself more room, rearrange the pictures, then save and submit to your website. Um, I hope this helped. I'm going to go back to Chrome and hit stop on this thing. Um, so I'll see you in the next video, guys.